Let me start first with the owner of the coin and the man who had the vision when he first bought this, that this coin was something very special. Stephen Contursi is the president of Rare Coin Wholesalers, and he and I have been very, working very closely for about a year now on this, and it's one of the highlights of, of my numismatic hobby. Stephen Contursi. Thank you, Don. It was a very nice presentation. Um, doesn't leave much to be said other than some of the more technical terms, and I want to really thank three of the best researchers I've ever come across in my numismatic career, uh, Martin Logies, Ken Brissett, and John Danrather, for helping me out on this project. There were many other researchers involved in uh, coming to the determinations that we did, uh, but these three uh, had been there. They were there at the AP office, and they were there for the breaking out of the coin or the taking the coin out. The coin was initially uh, acquired in the, a very famous silver type coin collection called the Knoxville Collection. And I remember going to look at this collection with the anticipation of buying it. And I started looking through the boxes of coins. And it starts off with the half dimes. And I'm looking at uh, 18th century half dimes in mint state 67 and mint state 68. And going down to the quarters and halves. And everything is in mint state 67 and 68. And I finally come to this dollar. And my heart just dropped to the floor. I mean, I have never seen anything that looked like this coin. I knew there was something really special. I knew it was unusual. I knew that it was not a regularly manufactured $17.94, having pretty good experience in dealing with some great rarities. Uh, and I just, I didn't know what to think. I, I went home and thought about it. And I said, you know what? This coin, it's proof-like. Uh, this coin has razor sharp uh, detail. Uh, this coin does not show the weakness on the left, and sometimes on the, the dates you don't even see the bottom part of the dates. This thing was as struck up as could possibly be, and I knew that there was something really special about this coin. I started believing that this is probably some kind of proof presentation piece, and uh, so on that hunch, I decided to pay the price to the dealer, uh, which was an extraordinary price at the time for a $17.94, uh, based on my feeling that it would eventually come to fruition that this coin was probably the first silver dollar ever struck. Um, and that's how I purchased the coin. I purchased this part of the Knoxville Silver Type Coin Collection, which is probably one of the best silver type coin collections ever, ever accumulated. So to hear more about uh, the reasoning why we come to this, uh, uh, this decision that uh, it's more than likely the first silver dollar struck, I'd like to pass it on to uh, some of our great researchers of our times. Ken Brissett, as you know, is a former president of the American Numismatic Association. He uh, has many other hats as a, an author and a researcher, and among the many pieces of research he's done and written about involves silver plugs on early U.S. coins. And uh, ironically, when this coin was sold in 1982 as from the Carter Collection, and, or, excuse me, 84, excuse me, 84, uh, Carter was uh, Ammon Carter Sr., who was the publisher of the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, Mr. Fort Worth, and one of the co-founders of American Airlines, as well as an astute coin collector. Uh, the Stax catalog indicated we think this may be the first silver dollar struck, but it didn't say anything about silver plugs. But one of our folks here who was at that sale circled on his catalog, there's a silver plug here, but we'll get to that in a moment. Ken Brissett, uh, we saved the best for last when we had people looking at the coin. In early March, Steve Katursky and I flew to Colorado Springs and uh, sat down with Ken and gave him a, an opportunity to look at the coin firsthand, and then you've also had an opportunity to look at it outside the holder this week. So, Ken Brissett. I think they brought me in uh, as a wild card. Uh, they, they, they probably suspected that I wasn't going to be uh, convinced that this was the first silver dollar ever made. And of course I went into it with that attitude. I think it's a sensible attitude, and it's the question that we get day after day on this coin when somebody talks about it. Um, how can we know that this was the first silver dollar made? Um, so I went in sort of with that attitude, I guess, and, and maybe that was a, a uh, sensible and a um, conservative attitude. Uh, in the long course of looking at coins over many, many years, I thought that I had seen about everything. And I didn't think that I would be quite as astounded as I was when I saw this coin. It is clearly and distinctively different than any um, 
7094 dollar and really different than any coin of that era so i was amazed one look at it and you can tell that there's something very very special about this coin and of course doesn't qualify it for some special feature like the first one ever made other factors had to be considered for that being an old timer and more of a purist i like to i like the tactile feeling of actually holding a coin and truly looking at every aspect of it we discovered some things yesterday that that have blown me away and that takes a lot this coin is so extraordinary so exceptional in so many ways that it had to have been something that was very very carefully made very special in every way and very specially preserved and it was these factors that went into converting me if you if you will into being a believer and frankly can thank steve for preserving this as a national treasure on the day of the striking i think and my theory is that they probably selected the worst ugliest planchet they could find which was this one that had been weight adjusted and file adjusted and had probably all the problems of the day they might have polished it up a little bit to uh, to help it along and then struck it with the most force that they could apply to this screw press and uh, it took very care a uh, very much care to see under the worst conditions the best possible coin that they could get and when they came out with this which was absolutely superb i'm sure they said we're ready to go let's begin the the real coinage